Okay, we're in a new construction home. This house is about a year and a half old and they have installed, the crew for the builder has installed a five ton Linux system. And this is their attempt at zoning. So, it appears we have one 12 inch duct, one 10 inch duct. Look around to the back here. We have a second 10 inch duct. Okay. And then look up on this side, and we have a second 12 inch duct. So we've got two 12s and two 10s with dampers. There's our silly loop bypass. Looks like that's a 12. So this absolutely just will not work. Looks like they have plenty of returns here, or at least plenty of return duct. And, you know, this, whatever you want to call that, this is their, their so-called filtering. Really much of a not really much of a filter there. Let's look at some of this duct work. Now here's that one 10 inch duct, or is that a 12? Comes off here and goes over to that crazy looking distribution box, I guess you could call it. It's a duct board. Duct board rectangle high school shop experiment more like what I want to call it and you can see this flex duct just going everywhere in a mess you can see it barely fits in the pan and I guess this one larger duct up there goes to probably another one of those distribution boxes over there yeah I see it way over there and uh, we're gonna do what we can to straighten out a bunch of this mess but the biggest thing is zoning does not work on single stage equipment so we're gonna take this single stage Linux out and we're gonna install a train 20 sear variable five ton system with a zone system that will work. This is their, whatever you wanna call it, I think it says it is a Ultra zone. All their wires look like spaghetti. And of course they're silly. Silly so-called. Filtered return with this little hardware store homemade thing. But anyway, let's get this torn out of here and Get rid of all this duct board. Put something in here that'll work. Okay, and here's the outside unit. Gee, that thing's not very big. I bet you anything there's a kink under that. I can see this hardy board. These guys, they, 
whoever put this siding up, they probably grabbed that line and jacked it up and pushed it down. All right, well, let's get to work. Get this stuff out of here and put something in here that'll actually efficiently heat and cool the house. Okay, so everything should be looking completely different here now. Have a nice train variable speed furnace. Got our actual zone system installed. Here's our zone panel. Here's our static pressure transponder. Here's our fully modulating dampers. Up there are the sensors for temperature as well as static pressure. There's the static pressure sensor in the return, in one of the returns, which is good enough. Got these nice cabinet type filters. And uh, that should be a whole lot better than joke of a filter rack. Boy, these are hard to get out when it's running. <laughs> well, this is really nice as compared to what was here. And this will actually work. And it's very quiet. It's working very well. We do have modulating dampers and not just two wire dampers. So these are power open, power close, and they're on timers, of course, with the board. We've got them set up to be 60 second timers. So what that is supposed to do is achieve 99 positions of modulating positions on each damper. So that should really produce a, a good balance. So we're anxious to hear some feedback from these customers in the next couple days. And uh, I'm pretty happy with everything. I'm gonna go take a look at the uh, outside unit. And... Okay, we got everything changed out, running. Got a five ton train variable 20 sear system. We straightened out all the issues took the kink out of the wall down there where they had uh, that was a lot of work but we managed to go up in the attic and push uh, about a foot down and got that kink out and repiped it out here and got the uh, train twice here and she is running at it was on 91% a minute ago I don't know if you can hear it or not it is a beautiful system, very quiet. Let's uh, try to get down here. Might be able to hear the compressor a little bit. Data plate. Customer wanted that PVC pipe uh, draining, and it's already draining. So that's a good idea. It might stick up. Might stick a 45 on that. And, uh, everything's looking good, pretty happy with it. Okay, here's the zoning control. Still pretty hot in here, it's only been running maybe 30 minutes, 25. We got zone one set to 70. We got zone three set to 70. Zone two set to 70. So, we're going to move zone 1 up to 72. I'm move zone 2 up to 72. Move zone 3 up to 75. Okay, humidity's coming down. I'm going to check with the customer tomorrow. Everything should be great. 